I was really surprised when I found out that I'd won the award. I wasn't expecting it at all. Yeah, well I was um, definitely surprised, but just overly happy, I think. I didn't expect it at all, so I was really surprised. Getting an OP1 was a big enough achievement for me and getting an award as well, I was pretty over the moon about that. Definitely surprising, but rewarding, because I put a lot of effort into my studies this year. What a top student is is pretty subjective. Like many people have strengths in different areas. So I wouldn't call myself necessarily one of the top students in the state, but to be recognized for it is definitely a very big honor. Physics and music were both my favorite subjects. I really liked physics because I think scientifically. I studied uh, biology at Griffith University throughout year 11 and 12 as like an extracurricular subject? Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to obviously get the best result, but for subjects like ancient history, I wanted to pick something that I would do more writing in, like essays, so I'd be prepared for uni. Well, I did lots of tutoring in the maths help room. Our school does a math tutoring program, and I was one of the leading tutors there. I was actually really lucky to do accelerated maths at BBC, so I finished 12 maths for in year 11 and had five subjects in year 12. So. The Griffith biology course was a little bit of work on top of my basic senior level biology. I want to do biomechatronic engineering, so like developing bionic limbs and prosthetics. I've been accepted into vet science at UQ Gatton. I plan to study a Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Science dual degree at UQ. For 2017, I want to study a Bachelor of Advanced Science and I want to major in biomedicine. I'll be studying a Bachelor of Engineering at Griffith University on the Gold Coast. In 2017, I'm going to be studying at Griffith University at the Nathan campus. I'm doing a Bachelor of Medical Science. My ultimate dream would be um, someone who practices medicine or a clinical researcher. I'd really like to work in like maybe an international company producing like technology that's new and innovative. I guess I'm interested in psychiatry because I've always wanted to help people. I've always wanted to be a vet since I was seven. It's just the thing that's driven me through school. I want to be a doctor and that's the whole thing about that is just giving back to the community, looking after other people. I definitely sacrificed like a lot of times going out with friends and things like that to make sure that I could fit in all my study and work. I did participate in cricket, debating, football, basketball and a number of other sports and they were just good uh, along with music they're good ways to relieve stress. I was in three um, bands in high school and three different orchestras at the Griffith University Young Conservatorium. Secrets to success is really just balance. Education I believe is actually the key to success and if you have an education you're going to have a good life. I'll tell you my habits I don't know if I should recommend them but <laughs> no they're not that bad. But. My parents used to give me chocolate to eat while I was studying so that I just had something to eat, specifically chocolate. My family for supporting me throughout that time. I'd like to thank my parents for this success, for helping me. Well, I'd honestly like to thank my mother for being there for me for the past five years from my high school studies and also all of my teachers. Yeah, for, for a lot of it I have my parents to thank and same with my grandparents as well. They're really supporting, but also um, my teachers at school. I'd definitely like to thank my teachers because they always did their best to you know, answer any question I had and my parents as well for supporting me for the last, for all my life. <laughs>